Welcome to my talk today on an another beautiful flowering tree. The beauty of mother nature is incomparable. Look deep in nature and then you will understand everything better as quoted by Albert Einstein. Spring is called the king of all seasons. Due to arrival of spring season, now we can see enchanting beauty of blossom in some Indian native tree species. In this video, I want to talk on flame of the forest, which is also commonly known as Polas, Dhak, Bengal Kino, Bastard Tick and Parrot Tree. There are also other vernacular names in India such as Mutuga in Kannada, Polakh in Assamese, Moduga in Telugu, Parasu in Tamil, etc. It is found in sub-Himalayan tract and the plains throughout the greater part of India except in very high rainfall area and most driest region. It also occurs in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia and Indonesia. The nature has own balancing act. During dry season, the trees become leafless in deciduous dry forest making it gloomy look but at the same time the polar tree appears in full bloom with mesmerizing scarlet flaming colored flowers in bare branches. The forest appears from distance as if set in fire. So is the popular name Flame of the Forest. Walt Disney, an American writer, said the flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and most beautiful of all. This is true in case of Polas also. In poetry, red symbolizes passion, love and aggression. Many eminent persons like Rabindranath Tagore and singer Bhupan Hazarika have admired Polas in their songs. Great Punjabi poet Harindra Singh Mahabob use Polas tree a symbol in his poetry. These are only few examples. In West Bengal, Rabindranath Tagore started celebration of Basanthap Uchap called Spring Festival in 1920s at Santiniketan, in which Polas flower was basic requirement. This tradition still exists at Santiniketan. In his notable jungle book, Rudyard Kipling correlated the presence of red flowers of duck in the jungle with the availability of prey for wild animals. In India, Polas is the state flower of Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and also for Union Territory, Sandrigar. The deciduous forest in Jharkhand become most beautiful when Polas is in full bloom, especially in Kodarma district and in Hajirabag Wildlife Sanctuary. Similarly, in spring, western part of Purulia and Bankura district of West Bengal bears an amazing look with blooming red Polas and Simal trees and these places become major tourist destination in spring for this region. The Polas bloom is also seen in Nilgiri where it is a keystone species. We see this bloom in Madhumalai Tiger Reserve in Tamil Nadu and BRT Tiger Reserve in Karnataka. It is a medium sized deciduous tree attaining a height up to 15 meter in favorable condition. But in poor soil, its growth is stunted and bushy. Based on bark color, two types of Polas trees are seen. One is called Sakra variety with gray bark and another is with dark colored bark called Karya variety which is suitable for rearing lack. The common type of Polas tree which is shown in this video produces blackish flower buds and scarlet flowers. The other forms like golden yellow, bright orange are also seen but very rarely. 
The yellow variety has been named as Butea monosperma variety lutea, which produces ivory white flower buds and bright yellow flowers. It has been reported from Maharashtra, Telangana and Bihar. So far, from genetic studies, it is not much different from common red variety. Polastri attracts sunburned rose-winged paraquits, butterflies. It is mostly pollinated by sunburned and tree-striped squirrels. As per mythology, the fire god Agnidev was cursed by goddess Parvati because of which he took the shape of a polash tree. The flowers are offered to goddess Kali and also used in worshipping Lord Shiva. The young unopened birds are offered in Saraswati Puja in West Bengal. Let us discuss about its other important uses. From economic point of view, the most important use is as a host plant of lachinchak to produce Rangini lac, which is used to make jewelry, miniature craft and in pharmaceutical industry. Its gum exudates called Bengal Kino is also valuable commercially. Its leaves are fodder for elephants and buffaloes. Also are used in making eco-friendly plates and cups. Root bark also yields useful quartz fiber. Traditionally, its flowers were used to prepare eco-friendly holly called kesari. This should be encouraged now also. In some tribal areas, dry flowers are used to prepare sherbet and tea. Its wood is not so useful but used for well cups, for making spoons and ladles for using in Hindu rituals. Gunpowder is also prepared from this wood. As far medicinal uses are concerned, different parts of this tree such as flower, seed, bark are used in treatment of various ailments like eye disease, chronic fever, liver disorder, diarrhea, dysentery, diabetes, snake bite, enthalmintic purpose, purgative purpose, and also skin disease like dubies itch. Now we'll discuss about its cultivation and propagation. The main advantage of growing polar tree is that it can be grown in degraded land, in alkaline soil, saline soil, stony area, swampy clay soil, waterlogged areas, where many species fail to grow. It also requires less care. Its optimal rainfall requirement is 750 to 1900 millimeter. It is drought tolerant and moderately frost resistant. It requires open areas for better growth. It has tremendous coppicing power. It is a good host for Rangani lac production. Lac has become important cash crop in Chhattisgarh state where the government introduced minimum support price for the benefit of farmers. It is an important species in agroforestry system in Bundelkhand region for lac and gum production. The farmers also plant this tree to stabilize field band. It is also good species for sand dune stabilization and to prevent soil erosion. It is moderately tolerant to pollution and hence a good species for planting in urban areas and in polluted industrial areas. Usually it is propagated by seeds, but it can also be propagated through root suckers. Mature pots are collected from the trees in mid-May. For raising as a host tree for lac production, pots from Karia variety should be collected. Seeds remain viable for a year, but better to sow fresh seeds in nursery bed. Fresh seeds give about 63% germination. Germination starts after 10 to 12 days of sowing. Small seedlings are pricked and transplanted in container bags. For preparing stump, seedlings are allowed to grow in nursery bed for a year. 
for reforestation, method of direct sowing of seeds on moons and stump planting can be done. Nowadays, seedlings raised in bags are usually planted. The seedlings can be planted at 5 meter by 5 meter spacement. Weeding is very essential. In the initial few years, intercropping with field crops can be done to prevent weed growth. Pollarding is most important for leg rearing. Pruning of trees is done in first half of February for katki crop and in first half of April for boisakhi crop. Leg harvesting is done during May, June and October, November. Application of lime and potash increases leg yield. Lastly, I want to say that there is tremendous scope for planting of this valuable tree species in wasteland, degraded land, in cities, polluted industrial areas, and also in agroforestry system, especially in dry part of India. Thanks a lot for watching.